Hey, what's up everybody? Derek here. You know, as a former firefighter, one of the most important skills that I can remember training on at least twice a year was knot tying skills. And you know, knowing the different types of knots, when to use them and how to tie them would be beneficial to me in any rescue emergency situation. But knowing how to tie a good, strong, dependable knot could be the determining factor in whether or not I make it out alive in any given rescue emergency situation. Now I can take the same concept and apply it to the art of fishing. Here's how. If you don't know how to tie any of the basic fishing knots or have some sort of knowledge of when to use the right knot for a specific fishing situation, then that can be the determining factor of whether or not you keep a fish or lose a fish. Because number one, either the knot came undone, or number two, the knot wasn't strong enough to hold and it completely snapped, or number three, the knot wasn't the appropriate knot for the situation. So in this episode, I'm going to show you guys how to tie four basic fishing knots that you can start tying right now that will be beneficial to you the next time you decide to go out and do some fishing. Now, how does that sound? Yeah! But before we get started, for those of you who are new to the channel, I'd like to say welcome and thanks for stopping by. I hope you find value in this channel and helping you improve your fishing knowledge. Make sure you click on that subscribe button below. Be sure to click that bell and make sure your notifications are turned on so that you'll be automatically notified when I post new video content. And as always, if you liked this video and found it very helpful or entertaining, much love is appreciated if you hit that like button. All right, let's get started. All right, so for this demo, I'm gonna be using this orange twine right here um, just so that um, it can be more visual to you guys. All right, so, uh, we're going to start with the basic knot number one, which is the simple uh, polymer knot. Now, this knot is regarded as one of the strongest and most reliable fishing knots because it retains about 95% of its line strength, which is really good. And that's what you want, a good, strong, dependable knot that won't slip or come undone. So this is how we're going to tie this. So you're going to take your hook here, and uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your fishing line. All right, now you're going to take probably about um, about six to eight inches uh, from the end of your line here. All right, and you're going to take it and you're going to you're going to double it over, okay, to where you have at least about six to eight inches of line like this. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take that where it's folded at right there. Okay, then you're going to take your eye of your hook and you're just going to pass it right through the eye of your hook right here. Okay, so you're going to pass that right in through there like that. So that's what it should look like. So this is where you're at right now. Okay, all right, let's get this straightened out here now. So that's what it should look like. Okay, so we got it through the eye of the hook. All right, now once you get to this point, what you want to do is you want to tie a simple overhand knot around, around your standing line here and this tag line together with this loop here, okay, that you made when you came through the eye of your hook. So you're going to do a simple overhand knot like this, all right, but you're not going to cinch it down because what you're going to do is you're going to take that, that when you pull it through, you're going to slip it over the shank of the hook there like that and now all you're going to do guys is you're just going to pull it like this you're going to pull it just like this and it's going to cinch down just like this right here like that okay and there is your polymer knot just like that and that right there is a good strong knot and it will never come undone all right a simple easy to tie knot there it is right there guys and now all you got to do is just clip off your tag in here just like this we're going to clip that off all right and there's your polymer knot now moving on down to basic knot number two the original clinch knot now um, there is an improved version of this clinch knot out there but because it's just a basic knot tutorial I'm trying to keep it real easy and simple for you guys. We're going to stick with the original clinch knot because it is an easy knot to tie. Now this knot is a really good strong overall knot. Uh, it will sense down really easy when using mono or fluorocarbon 
However, if you guys are going to be using braid, it will tend to slip under tension at times. So just keep that in mind. But all in all, it's a great knot to know how to tie. So how do we tie this? All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your line here. Real simple knot, guys. You're going to take the line, the end of your line, you're going to pass it through the eye of the hook here, just like this. Okay, and I want you guys to pull out at least uh, about mm, uh, five to six inches, okay? All right, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your thumb and index finger right here, and you're going to just grab right here like this at the base there of where your line comes through the eye of the hook and uh, the tagging comes out. You're going to grab right there like that. Then um, what you're going to do is you're going to take your tag in, and you're going to wrap it around the standing part of your line here at least uh, three to four times. Okay, now you can do uh, five or six, but um, for this training purposes, I'm doing three to four. But out in the real world, out in the real world, uh, if you're if you're tying this, I would say uh, tie it at least go around your standing line at least five to six times. Okay, so I'm going to wrap around though here at three to four. So I'm going to go one. Oops, <laughs> one, two, three, and one more. I'll do one more. Four. All right. Now, after that fourth turn, what I'm going to do is, you guys see, remember I had you uh, down at the base here, uh, hold, hold that with your index finger and your thumb, and the reason being is because that just holds that, uh, that little loophole down there. And you're going to take this tag in, and you're going to pass it right through that, that little loophole down there. And then you're going to grab it, you're going to grab your, um, your uh, standing line here, and that tag in at the same time, and you're just going to pull. Now, at this point, I will wet the line. And after you wet it, just continue to uh, pull it taut, you know, and uh, then it'll cinch down really nice and tight like this. Look at that. Just like that. And then what you want to do is cut off your tag in. And there is your original clinch knot. Moving on down to knot number three, the uni knot. Now this knot is one of the strongest dependable knots known. And as a matter of fact, it's just a slight bit more stronger than a polymer knot when it comes to breaking strength. Now, it can be used to join two fishing lines together, uh, attaching hooks or swivels to the end of the line. You know, I would say that this knot is probably my favorite, as I use this knot 90% of the time when I'm out fishing. So how do we tie this knot? All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our fishing line here, and I want you guys to pass it up through the eye of the hook here. And when you pass it up through the eye of the hook, I want you to keep pulling to where you pull out at least uh, six to seven inches of a tag line right there, about like that. Once you get there, guys, I want you to take your thumb and index finger, and I just want you to pinch down here at the base um, where it loops through the eye of the hook. I just want you to just kind of pinch right there like that. And the reason why I say that is just to kind of give you more of a, a base to, so the line won't move around on you. Next, you're going to take your tag line here like this, and you're just going to like make a simple half loop like this to where it lays on top, where it lays on top of your um, standing line like this. And then you're going to pinch that with your thumb and index finger. So that's what it looks like. See, I'm pinching it. Then you got this, sta this uh, standing line right here, your main line behind it. So then next what you're going to do is you're going to take your tag line here and I just want you to wrap it around this standing line and then come up through, come up through this loop right here. I want you to do that uh, four times, four to five times. Now if you're working with, uh, let's say if you have 50 pound test uh, mono on your line, you can get away with doing uh, three to four reps. But if you have 20 pound uh, mono or fluorocarbon leader, you will probably need to do uh, six to seven um, wrap arounds. So here's what here we go. But for this training purposes, guys, I'm just going to do four. Okay, so I'm going to go around the standing part of the line up through that uh, half loop and go around again up through the half loop again. That's two around the standing part of the line up through that loop again. That's three around the standing part of the line and up through that loop. This is the last one. And then, uh, here, let me grab that, and that's four. So now, at, once you get here, guys, what you want to do is you want to, uh, you want to wet your line. So after you wet it, 
All right, now all you're gonna do is you're gonna pull and you're gonna let go of that tag in at this point and then you're just gonna pull your standing part of your line here, which is this, and then it'll start cinching down just like this, just like that, okay? And there you have it. And then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna clip off your tag in and there is your uni knot, a very good, strong, dependable knot. All right, moving on down to knot number four, the last and final knot, the non-slip loop knot. Now, I would recommend using this knot only when tying on lures such as diving plugs, soft plastic swim baits, or dock scoofy jigs. Now, what this knot does is that it allows for the lure to work as magic in the water column by presenting in a more natural bait swimming-like action. So how do we tie this? Well, here's how we do this, guys. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your main fishing line here. And I want you to tie a simple overhand knot, but don't cinch it down. You're going to tie that knot about six to eight inches up from the end of the line. So I'm going to tie that knot right here. So I'll have this much line left to pass through the eye of the hook. OK, so that's our first step. So here we go. I'm going to tie that overhand knot and don't cinch that knot down. OK, and there's what I have. Now I want to keep that. I want to keep that much of a loop and gap in that in that um, overhand knot. I, that's what I want to keep right there. All right. Now, once I have that, I'm going to take my hook here and I'm going to pass the end of this tag line through the hook just like that. So there's what we got now. We got our overhand knot and then we got our tag line passed through our eye of our hook. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our thumb and our index finger and we're going to grab that overhand knot right there, okay? And then we're going to take this tag in and we're going to come up under the, the loop here of this overhand knot and come out the top of it like this, all right? So now here's what it looked like. So this is what you guys should have right now, all right? So it should look like that, all right? Now once you get to this point, you want to take your thumb and index finger and grab this this uh, overhand knot again, okay, so it don't move on you. And now your tag in, I mean your standing line here, you're going to take your tag in and wrap it around your standing line at least three times. So you're going to go one, two, and three. All right, after that third wrap around, you're going to take your tag line and remember that gap right there in the center of that overhand knot, see that gap? I'm just gonna pass this through that gap like that, like so. And then I'm gonna pull on that with my thumb and index finger. I got my other hand right here on the standing line. Okay, now at this point, you guys probably wanna wet it and then just pull, just pull tight like that. And there is your loop knot. It will not come undone, guys. That's why they call it a non-slip loop knot. Okay, now the only thing I found out when using this knot out there fishing for pompano, because uh, this is a knot I use when I tie on my dock scoofy jig, fishing for pompano, is sometimes those lady fish will come up and hit that dock scoofy jig. And when they come up, because they have such uh, sharp lips, they will cut the line right here. It'll just cut in half, but it'll never break right here. It always cuts right here. But there's your non-slip loop knot, guys. Well, congratulations, you did it. You now know how to tie four basic fishing knots, which is a good starting point for making sure that the next knot you tie would be a strong, dependable knot that you can count on. If you liked this video and found it very helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And feel free to leave a comment. All I ask is that you keep it nice. Well, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great week and I will see you in the next one. Peace.